Well, the number of children and pets being left in hot cars this summer continues to grow with one high profile case in Georgia where a toddler died when his father forgot him in the back seat. Kimberly Schwinn is from AAA Ohio and Kimberly, good morning. Good morning. How does this keep happening? We just keep hearing more and more about this. Yeah, you know, there's really two things. You know, first of all, people sometimes forget. Sure. Um, you know, they'll you get out of your normal routine. If you're taking your child to daycare one day and you don't normally do so, you get distracted thinking about what's going to happen at work that day. The child is so quiet in the back seat you walk into work and forget that they're there. That happens about half of the time when people just forget. Um, the other half of the time, parents think they'll be okay in the car for mm. a few minutes. I can just run into this store really quickly or you know wherever you're going and they'll be okay. But you don't really realize how quickly it can happen. Well then, let's talk about that. You know, How quickly can the temperature rise if you've got that mindset a little bit of, you know, I'll just let my child be in the car for a little bit and I'm gonna run in. Well, a temperature in a car can actually rise 20 degrees in just 10 minutes. So even if it's 60 degrees outside, the car can heat up to well above 110 degrees. A child actually dies when their temperature is at 107 degrees and they're very susceptible to heat stroke because their body temperature actually rises about three to five times faster than in adults. So as the car heats up, the child's temperature also heats up very quickly. Yeah, the smaller the child, the hotter they actually get quicker. Uh, biggest ways to prevent this from happening, heat stroke in a car, yeah. aside from... Just yeah, you know, remembering that's the thing you need to create a system for yourself. So I always keep my diaper bag in the front seat. So I see it. I know that the baby's in the back seat. Mm -hmm. You could also, you know, keep a teddy bear in the car seat when you're not in the car and then when the child is in the car seat, move that teddy bear to the front seat. You can set reminders for yourself, just whatever works for you to remember. Um, you know, also just don't do it. Just don't leave the child in the car. And we like to say, you know, this act acronym so avoid it altogether by not leaving your child in the car creating that system and then taking action if you do see a child left in the vehicle I, I, I mean yeah so then call 911 or call somebody I mean yes. you call as that parent or anyone you need to do something yes take a taking action with a child left in the car means if you see it call 911 immediately and stay by that car and wh what about pets is there a difference um, you know with pets, if you do see a pet in the car, you wouldn't call 911. You'd right. call animal control, the non-emergency police number, maybe go into a business, have them try to find the owner. Um, but pets, you know, they don't cool themselves the same way that we do. So they pant, their fur holds in all of the heat. Um, so even with the window cracked, it's still very dangerous for a pet. They can suffer dehydration or even die of heat stroke. So you still don't want to leave your pet in the car. Uh, you know, again, the same thing goes. The car heats up very quickly. People think, oh, but the, the dog wants to go to the grocery store with me. But you're really not helping that dog or doing it a favor by taking it along with you. Just leave it at home in the air conditioning. Kimberly Schwinn, thank you. Always good advice. Thank you. Yeah, good to thank see you. you.